Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about a jQuery function called as clone. The clone is used to copy the certain elements that you select. And this copy can be attached to any other element of the HTML document. This is kind of a little advanced stuff in jQuery. Uh, if you do not have a huge manipulation needed in your HTML document, you do not need to work a lot with the clone. But in case you are interested in how or what clone does, uh, stick on with me. So basically clone is to copy the elements of the HTML document. So for example, if I have an HTML document and let's create a small piece of HTML code where you have div and give it some kind of class I hope you are aware of the CSS classes how it work give it uh, some name called as my class and inside that give it a paragraph called as this is a paragraph now because of any reason I want to copy this dynamically for example when somebody presses a button or some other event happens and I don't want to remove this but I want to create a really deep copy by deep copy what it means is this is if this is the first level then whatever the levels below it will also be copied that means the if you try to copy the div the paragraph elements inside would be copied so let's give it some style by tagging it with style tag and in closing it to slash style and inside that to give a style you have to use dot my class and let us uh, give it a, a background color of red give it some kind of padding by pixel and all let's see how it looks like so when you run this file in the browser you can see that there's a red uh, div and inside that is a paragraph element now what if I want to copy this whole thing once again because of certain you know requirements in my project so what do I need to do is to use jQuery now to use jQuery I need to go to the Google uh, web page and type in jQuery Google CDN from there go to the Google hosted libraries click on this link and from here go to the jQuery uh, link click on it and you will find there are two types of jQuery you can use 1.x or 2.x I'll use the top one I'll just copy this whole section from here to the end copy it and place it in the head section of the document like this now the jQuery has been included in your HTML file or project or whatever it is make sure that you are connected to the net because you would need this uh, the file to access the Google site so once I have included this what I need to do is that upon load of this document this whole element should be copied so to do that I have to write some jQuery code I'm going to do that inside the script tag inside the body and this code is written inside the script tag and the slash script tag and the code goes like this so if you have dollar which depicts jQuery function and it acts on the document and when the document is ready that means it has been loaded it will call a function which will have a body and I'll just close it by a semicolon so inside that what I'm going to do is search for the div by using the class name which I can use my class dot and this will search the um, the div in this file so here I'm going to do clone so this will create a clone copy and what I'm going to do is I'm going to append this to the body So what, I, what is happening here is that the division is being searched 
the div here and a deep copy is made using the paragraph sorry using the clone and that deep copy return is appended to the body so we're going to see when we run this file we're going to see two divs of such kind rather than the one one is what we have already here and second is we are going to create through this so let us check it out I'll just run this file once again you can see there are two divs created why it was done so let me repeat I found the I searched for the div with the class my class I made a clone of it and I appended it to the body so even the elements inside that is call what we call as the deep copy were copied to the new element so if you just go to the document and click on inspect right click and then go to the inspect element in your for example chrome browser you're going to see that there are two my class divs and each one has a paragraph the first one here the top one and the second one the elements have been copied Now, as you can see, there are some options in here. So it says with data and events. So for example, if you have an event on the paragraph, uh, such as dollar my class P dot my class P dot on some event, for example, click and all those things. So if you click on the paragraph an alert will be sounded so the point is in here if you pass it by default if you don't give any parameter to the clone this event will not be picked up and copied to the clone so what it means is that the event will not be created for the cloned object but if you pass true here instead of the false you will get the complete document with all the events and if there's any kind of data associated with those uh, document with those elements the data and event would be also added created and added to the new so this is the purpose of either passing a true or false in here there are some other options as well you can check it out in this documentation i would not go into detail of it just a basic concept the important thing is when you clone if you do not append it to the body it will not appear anywhere you can also copy it in certain variables and just remove this And now you can utilize by uh, it this variable to do anything for example uh, add an event something like that so I hope this was clear do let me know if there's any question thanks for watching